Hello and welcome. In this demo, I'll be showcasing how to bring Oracle integration to AI innovation with a use case of automating expense report using OCI services. OIC has shipped six OCI native actions, document understanding, generative AI, language, speech, vision, and generative AI agent for bringing Oracle integration to AI innovation. So let's jump into the use case. So this use case demonstrates how we can automate the expense report validation and approval using the AI native actions in Oracle integration. So this demo showcases a multiple built-in AI services, including document understanding, ritual argument generation, and OCI generative AI. Let's see how this works. When a user submits an expense report, document understanding first extracts the contents from the receipt and this extracted data is then passed to RAG service, which acts as an intelligent agent backed by a corporate policy, so which we have ingested earlier into the RAG service. So this RAG service cross-references the receipt details against the policy and returns a detailed explanation of the validation report. And next, we use generative AI to summarize the RAG response into more concise format, which helps the system to determine the appropriate next step. Depending on the outcome, it can be denied, or it can be sent to the manager approval, or it can be auto-approved and create an invoice in Oracle ERP Cloud. Let's see how this works. So now let's get into the Oracle integration. So this is the project which I've used it for end-to-end -end execution. And this is the main integration where I will go ahead and upload the different receipts here. So I've already prepared a couple of receipts. I uh, one for the auto approval, one for uh, manager approval, and one for the denial one. So let me first go ahead and execute the auto approval receipt. By the time it gets executed, let's see what is the content of this particular receipt. It has uh, two line items, one mouse and the other one is keyboard, and the prices are $22 and $29. And all this information is under the permissible amount and permissible items. So let's go ahead and see what's the outcome of the integration. So I can see the integration has got executed successfully. I can see the result is approved. Let's go into the tracking. So OIC has received the expense report from the rest endpoint and uh, it has been fed into the document understanding. So it extracts the content of the expense receipt. So let's see how this has extracted the content. It has uh, extracted the billing address, invoice ID, line items and respect to prices. It has looped through twice because you have two line items. The information, the outcome of the document understanding has been given to the RAG service. Let us see what is the response from RAG service as well. You can see this is a child integration. I'm not going into the child integration now. I'll directly show you what is the response of the RAG service here. If you remember, we have already ingested the corporate policy. Again, as to that, we are reviewing the receipt that we have submitted. So what it is saying, these line items are permissible line items and prices again as to them are also under the limit. So this can be auto approved. If you observe, you can see a huge text over here. This needs to be fed into the generative AI to summarize and give the direction to Oracle integration for the next steps to be undertaken. So this is the response of uh, generative AI. And if you see the text, which is a summary, is approved. Upon that one, I have a switch condition to take the next necessary action. If the outcome of the generative AI is approved, it goes and creates an invoice in the ERP. If the outcome of the generative AI is denied, it goes and updates the user saying that your expense report has been declined. If it requires a manager approval, it goes and sends an email to the manager for approval. In the same way, let's quickly go ahead and execute another receipt. So let's take manager approval receipt. So let's go ahead and run this. By the time it gets executed, let's go ahead and see what is the content of this particular receipt. It has a line item as a dinner and uh, the price is $215. Okay. Let's see what is the outcome of this particular receipt execution. You see the result is saying that requires a managerial approval. So let's go ahead and review the tracking instance. So I'm not going again into the document understanding response 
because we already have seen it in the previous receipt if you observe it has executed only once because it has only one line item and let's go ahead and review the response of the rag service here as per the receipt that we have submitted it is saying that dinner expenses can be reimbursed but not above the hundred dollars which means it needs a manager approval so the same information has been fed into the generate ai let us see what is the response from the generate ui as a summary so that the next required action can be taken so it's, it's saying that result requires manager approval according to that the switch condition has executed this particular leg to send an email to the manager for further approval let's go ahead and see the design time experiences of this oca native actions so let me go into main integration and then let me expand the document understanding ai service so we are now supporting the pre-trained models and the processor jobs as part of the pre-trained models we have uh, multiple actions analyze document text extraction and the document classification if you go into the analyze document you have the pre-trained document types which are invoice receipt driver's license passport health insurance id we can pass the information as inline or an object storage as well and we support text extraction and the document classification as well along with the processor jobs let me go into the generate to ai native action we support on demand and dedicated categories so as part of this use case i'm using the chart action and you can also embed the test using this service let me go into the rag service here so i have three actions into this one one is to list the endpoints one is to create a session and then chart as part of this use case i've used all these three actions first i'm listing the endpoints once the endpoint has been listed and i finalize which endpoint i wanted to for this particular requirement and I am creating a session here so upon creating the session I keep charting with rag service so you can use the OCI native action in Oracle integration as per your use case needs thank you that's all for this demo